Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Asteroid City. With a cast of Jason Schwartzman, Scarlett Johansson, Jeffrey Wright, Tilda Swinton, Brian Cranston, Edward Norton, Adrian Brody, Levi Sandberg, Hope Davis, Stephen Park, Rupert Friend, Maya Hawk, Steve Carell, Matt Dillon, Hong Chow, Willem Dafoe, Margot Robbie, uh, Tony Tony Ravasi, Jack Ryan or Jake Ryan, and Jeff Goldblum playing an alien. <laughs> Let me tell you. This movie had more people in it than Oppenheimer. And Oppenheimer literally had people just popping up for five minutes of screen time. Holy shit, man. This movie was so fun and interesting to watch. Now, it's been a minute. It took me to put out this review and a lot of people shit on this movie. I don't know why you did. I don't know why people do that. It's an interesting concept to put. You're watching a movie of a play being acted out in a movie. It's such an interesting, deep, layered type of flick. I love when they're all like, "Oh, they're um, the with the, and the nuclear bombs going off." Like, I'm a, I'm a Vegas kid, so the whole nuclear bomb thing going off in the distance, I've seen that. Not, not in my lifetime, but my mom, my dad, they did that shit back in the day, man. And it's, it's so cool to see that shit, though. And it's real. Above ground testing it happened at the test site, and they used to have parties uh, for it. Viewing parties. There was a, um, uh, what's it called? There was a, uh, there was Miss, Miss Atomic Cloud or something like that that Vegas used to do. But this movie is just so, what makes it cool is that it's a smart film, but it doesn't take itself overboard, much like Bo is Afraid. And yes, that was a dig at Bo was afraid because it was a bad movie. Stop telling me it was a good movie. It was a bad movie. It was pretentious and overdone. This one is a very smart movie, but also does, like, there's, there's just moments where, like, Adrian, Bro Adrian Brody, who is the writer and the director of the play, he's living on the set of the play and he, every time he's in a scene, he's doing a speed bag, but the speed bag's over here, and he's just like doing it, but he's doing the talking and everything else. Uh, the, the chemistry between Scarlett Johansson and uh, Jason Schwartzman was so just cool and interesting and the, the the decor of this movie was so fun it 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 looked like a set but it i mean it was it was a set in the context of the movie and it was just it was just neat it was such a neat film um but everybody was great in it Jeffrey Wright playing the general um was it Carell that was trying to sell off plots of land and everything. And it, and it's funny that throughout the whole movie he's doing that. Tom Hanks, man. Tom Hanks. <laughs> he's dealing with the, th the three daughters that are complete witches. Like legit witches. Not bad people. Just ba they're witches. And they bury the mom who, whose ashes are in the Tupperware at this place. And they're not digging it up. And... Uh, the de <laughs> he's the grandfather and he's just like over it he's like I'm, I'm done with this place and then the smart kids creating the, like the jet pack and the laser gun it's so 
over the top fun. It's just a fun movie. And I like it because of the layers that they added to it. When the alien comes down and he picks up the rock, which is in the play played by Jeff Goldblum, and you see him like in the alien suit and everything, and he picks up the rock and he's like looking at everybody. And he holds the rock like he's posing for the photo. The photo's taken and then he goes back up. And when he drops the rock down, the meteorite, they just tagged it. <laughs> like, this was meteorite, blah, blah, blah. It was like, <laughs> it's so stupid. But the alien, I mean, it was stop motion. And it's just, it's the different mediums used in this movie were just fucking brilliant. Like... I could wax poetically about this movie, not very poetically, just innate things about this movie, but let the score tell itself. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The story is a five. The cinematography is brilliant, is a five. The characters, I loved all the characters. They were fun. They were over the top. They were cool. The set design, the costume design, every bit of design that went into this movie was a five. And this brings my total to five, baby. Five stars. Love seeing these movies. Let me know down below. Did you enjoy Asteroid City? Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Try not to spit on the lens. Thank you guys so very much. See you in the next review.